Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, everyone. Here we are. We're gonna go ahead and teach Psychic to the janitor, our new friend. He would gain it in six levels, but I want to get through this next gym. So we're gonna go ahead and switch things around and get him leveled up so he can evolve to Kadabra. So um, unfortunately, he will not be able to evolve to Alakazam because Edo and I did not click the setting under the randomizer to make it possible for um, uh, these evolutions to um, to go through without a trade. So he's a trade evolution, so he, the only way he can actually evolve is if uh, we were to find a friend to trade him to, but um, unfortunately that doesn't work for us in this version of the game, obviously, so um, yeah, that's definitely disheartening. Um, but we're working, we'll work our way. All right, so hopefully he can one-shot these guys because that'll make things a lot faster. And nice. Excellent. And it's kind of a slow leveling process, it looks like. Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, these are... No, they're one level lower than him. It's not much different. Yeah, and Psychic doesn't have the most power, so... Or Poke power. I mean, it hits really hard, which will be good for the next gym, but... We don't get that many attempts at it, unfortunately. We're just going to fight all these bikers really quickly, because I think they have things that he can easily um, take down, luckily. Cue Ball Luke. <laughs> what a name. Uh, and then we'll, if we run out of Poke Power, we'll just switch between him and Charmander, because I need to get him up uh, to a Charizard as quickly as possible. And there we go. Perfect. Sweet. And we're about to evolve. One more thing. I don't know if that resets our power. That'd be really nice if it does. Let's have ourselves a good time. These guys are curious beasts. I'm not sure how I feel about them. Saying these grotesque things to children. Let's have a good time. Oh yeah, this is this is our evolution right here, baby. Uh-huh. This my shit. Janitor cleaning up. There we go. So he'll get uh, he'll get uh, Kadabra stage, which is big. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know if we'll keep him permanently. If we get a better psychic that can get a tier three level evolution, we're gonna probably have to take it. But um, it's been good for now. It, will be very useful for this next gym given how much damage he's doing to these wheezings and he's not even evolved yet but sweet don't make me mad well probably just did oh janitor you're evolving so fun thing about scrubs is the janitor is unnamed throughout the entire series and in the very last episode he supposedly reveals his name to jd however uh there's quite a bit of doubt because he, in the same episode, someone else refers to him by a different name just after he tells JD. And um, that, uh, you know, obviously makes it a little bit suspicious of like, what is his name? But his, <laughs> the reason he gives is pretty funny. He's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, you, like, I have, what is your name? And uh, the janitor is like, You've never asked. Like, we've been here for eight years and you've never once asked me what my name is. And he's like, what? So JD was just shaken by that idea. Um, which is pretty funny. Um, uh, chop. We're almost out of pokey power, but we can get one more off here. We've got our little spoon in our hand, you know. Peeling out some uh, eyeballs from these cue balls. And, uh... Yeah, there we go. Hey, you just bumped me. No, I didn't. We're right in front of you. Hey, Weezing. Nice. Good EXP. I kind of am tempted to just teleport back and, yeah, heal him up for the Poke Power because I want to save all my ethers and stuff for the E4. But. Uh, let's just fight this last guy with someone else. Nice bike, hand it over. That's bully, bully tactics, Mr. Q-Ball. 
Koji. I don't know if uh, Charmeleon's going to do that hot against these guys, but we'll see. If it gets sketch, we'll switch, of course. So, Okay, you identified us. That's great. Identify away. 28 damage, because that's how much uh, Seismic Toss deals. This is equal to your level. Alright. And a Mankey, we'll stick it out for that. And if we get a real big boy, we'll switch to someone else. Who has a better move. Another Seismic Toss, which would kill us if we took another one, but we should be able to one-shot it there. And get some EXP. Yes, we will switch because we don't want to get Seismic Toss to death. Turk can also use more XP, starting to... Well, he's actually in line with everyone else. Never mind. Alright. A bunch of, uh, bunch of trainers down there. I want to go heal, actually. I know that's kind of a waste, but I want the Poke Power reset. And, uh, it's worth it to me. So, it's like right down here, so. And where is the Poke Center? All the way here. I maybe could have teleported, but I didn't know if it would take me all the way back to the other one. Alright, come on. It's worth the 35 seconds or whatever it's taken so far, so yeah, um, I feel I feel much more confident about Koga with this guy in my pocket now too. Um, my previous plan was just <laughs> rely on Flygon, um, which is you know a good plan, but not not infallible by any means. All right, we got rid of all those fuckers. Oh, okay, we just go down the hill. Oh, wait, I want to go back up to this tall grass. Uh, okay, well, we have to fight this guy. Sweet. Give me, give me your EXP, lad. Raul. A, there aren't that many, like, ethnic names in <laughs> Pokemon. There, there really should be. Like, it's pretty funny that everyone's just the same... Same uh, ethnicity, otherwise it's kind of... Primeape, ooh, cool. Let's see if we can one-shot that. Should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> we do a shit ton of damage. It's pretty good. 900, sweet, 33. And roleplay, ooh, kinky. Ooh, bringing out the roleplay, all right. Let me bring that on. I don't know what that does, but probably nothing good. Um, all right, what's our encounter? Come on, give me Route 17. Another Ivysaur, okay. Um, so we can dupes claws this, and I think I'm going to, uh, because I would rather get someone different, even though it's nice to have a backup, but we already have another grass type backup. Ooh, a Torkoal, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and um, just throw an Ultra Ball, I guess, and just see how it goes. I need to get more of those soon, but... Nope, okay, that's not gonna do. Oh, fuck. Alright, that does a lot of damage. Oh, fuck, I hit run. Oh, shit, that was not what I meant to hit. Ah. Uh, well, let's just zoomies our way down. Uh, well, we don't need any... Um, any of those trainers. Fuck, that was stupid. I didn't mean to... Well, it's okay. It's not like I was gonna use a Torkoal anyway. Hyper Potion, god man, I need... That was maybe a mistake, because we're probably almost to the town. Yeah, here we probably are. Wow. This... That was a fucking... Route 18. Oh, uh, there's some trainers over here. Let's go uh, get them and get our grass. Route 18. Alright, 18. Corfish. Wow, that sucks. I'm not even going to try and catch that. Not worth the time it would take, even if he gives me an item. Alright. You, you guys are all the same little blonde kids, <laughs> so... Uh, hopefully something easy. Birds. Okay. Fucking birds. I think we can probably still one-shot that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's pretty handy. <laughs> and a Fero. Let's see if that's a one-shot. We'll see. I don't know. So it is. Not too shabby. I might teach him Calm Mind as well. Wouldn't hurt. Okay. The bird boys have their turf. You know, they got a gang here. Oh my god. Four Pokemon. That's just such, so much Poke Power I'm about to waste. But uh, I don't think I'm going to even fight this last one. I'll just go to the gym. Speed run through. Don't need it. Because um, we should get plenty of EXP from the other uh, poison type people leading up to the boss. And then X items should be plenty too. Hero. And just keep on using Psychic. Sweet. Nice. 34. Spiro. One more. And then we're moving right along. And there it is. Big plays, big plays. All right, darn. Not gonna, not gonna be so tough with your turf now, are you? All right, Fuchsia City. Oh, there's a Lapras in there. Hi, bud. I love Lapras, so cute. Uh, how do we get into this part? We all go down here. Convenient that these are all so close to each other. I think there's some things we need to get in here eventually, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, teach the TM and then go into the gym. Yes. All right. Let's go bag. I think we have enough hyper potions. TM case. Where is my calm mind use? Sweet. Perfect calm mind. So that's the combo we're going to use. Is we're just going to beef him up, get him really smart and really defensive and really calm, and then just blast them. Okay, so if we just go counterclockwise, that should be fine. All right, strategy can beat brute strength. Okay, well, we'll test that theory at least. I mean, oh, he has a Hypno. That's not what I expected. Uh, let's see what we do against that. I don't know. No, nothing. That's annoying. All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch to Elliot, who should hopefully be able to take this guy out. Ugh, fucking poison. I need to go buy more antidotes, actually. That's what I need to do. After this battle, I'll go do that. Attack Rose, okay. Crunch. Yep, keep raising your attack. I mean, it's definitely not unconcerning, but far from preferable to far, far preferable to damaging me. So, got a bunch of money. Yep, I don't think we're gonna die between here and the Poke Center, but it reminded me I need antidotes. So I don't have that many. So we're gonna go do that. Heal that one now, even though it's such a waste. Okay, continuing down and out. And give me my, what is this guy? Uh, okay, the warden, we need to go there eventually, I'm sure. Where's my mart? Is there not a Pokemart here? Oh, fucking A. That's annoying. Yeah, I might have to teach fly to someone just to go get it. Okay, here we go. Thank God. <laughs> that would have been really obnoxious. Uh, okay, let's get some Ultra Balls, too, while we're here. And then um, we don't have any other options but full heals, so... Let's buy those. And that should be good. All right. I hope that's enough. I don't know. Obnoxious, we have to cut this down every time. 
We'll get our encounter for this route later. For now, I think we have what we need. And we'll go back into the gym. Yep. Next guy. I can kind of see the little square outlines have little white corners, and I'm just going to kind of depend on that to get my way through. Oh my god. Are there like all psychic types? Like, what's wrong with this gym? This is supposed to be the poison gym. I don't understand. Be confused. Headbutt. Crunch. Wow, come on, we can't even one-shot that shit. That's super annoying. Come on, Elliot. I need you to get bigger than this. Hit harder. I want to level up the janitor as much as we can, but I also really just want to get through these people, so if they're drowsies and shit, I'm just going to crunch. Stay in crunch. Oh, almost. Special defense fell. And no faint attack. Sweet. Just save our pokey power for the things we actually need it for. Kadabra, no. This should hopefully be a one shot. Yeah, it is, because it's super weak. And defenses, alright. Drowsy. A little, little beefier, but we're getting our way through. Oh man, I couldn't just one shot it. Okay, and faint attack. Perfect. There we go. Juggler Kirk. Thanks, bro. Alright, this guy. Ninjas have a long history of using animals? What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god. What the fuck is this guy? He's got a whip. This is some weird... Getting some weird vibes this uh, this episode from these fuckers. So, let's go ahead and psychic. And just see... Okay, yeah, that, that's clean. Nice. I'm, uh, I'm happy to just continue to one-shot. <laughs> is he gonna cut my attack even further? Yep. <laughs> But too bad this is special attack. I mean, we wouldn't have anything <laughs> physical to do, so. I probably didn't understand that as a kid, um, that there was any difference between the special and the physical attack. And yeah, a sand slash, we will switch for that. Um, Harry should be able to easily handle it. Save our Pokey Power. Razor Leaf. Oh, come on, serious? That's kind of annoying. Couldn't just one-shot it. Parry, my dude. I don't know why. A nice chunk of EXP for you, though. Next time, I'll Giga Drain it. But I wanted to save that in case we needed it. Uh, looks like... Can we just go down? No. We have to go up. Okay... What do you got? More psychic, psychic types. I don't really get that. <laughs> it's just kind of getting in the way and slowing me down from leveling up the janitor. Oof. Yikes. Well, as shitty as it would be to die to a drowsy, I don't think we will. We'll heal. Once we get to that, perfecto. Okay, and then we faint attack. Perfect. And there we go. Hit no. Oh man, that's so slow to grind through. I hope we get to the fucking boss this episode. That's gonna be obnoxious otherwise. Okay. Don't confuse me, please. Crit it, crit it, crit it, crit it. No. Oh my god. Faint attack. And there we go. Sweet Jesus. 
so many hypnos. We're almost up to our Flygon level though, which will be big. Oh my god, another trainer. Come on. Come on, bro. Sand Slash. Ugh, that's annoying. Now I have to switch for mid battle. Alright, we'll go to Perry. Should be just fine to Giga Drain this to death. And. So we shall recover all our health. Oh, what? It didn't. Doesn't die? Are you serious? And Razor Leaf. Oh, fucking A. Are you serious, Perry? Uh, let's just Giga Drain it again and get our health back. Save a potion. No, it didn't actually do that much. <laughs> oh well. Nice, 33. We'll take it. Arbok. Yes, we'll go back to the janitor. Who's almost out of pokey power. <laughs> so we might need to go back out of the gym and then... Oh well. We'll do that with teleport, hopefully. Sweet. There we go. Thousand more XP. More money. Let me just make sure I know where I'm going and that we beat everyone we can possibly beat first. Huh. This is annoying. I thought we were going the right way, but I guess we have to go around this way. And if not, I'll pause and figure out where the fuck to go. We'll beat this guy and then we'll go get our Poke Power back and switch into this battle. We might run a little bit over, I hope no. Just crit it. Please just fucking crit it. Oh my god. This is so obnoxious. <laughs> there we go. I wish these guys had like poison types that I could actually level up my guy on. <laughs> But they don't. Alright. Kill it. Oh my god, serious? Okay, that's annoying. If we just kill it real quick, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Excellent. Eh? Oh, almost to 44. That's big. And we'll get out of here, heal, and then I might pause and just get to Koga, <laughs> so I don't flounder around and uh, waste too much time. I didn't think I needed it for this one, but apparently I'm stupider than I thought. <laughs> Alright, everyone's full health, full pokey power, we beat every goon. Should be an easy battle, hopefully, with Calm Mind and X items if needed. Alright, give me just one second here. Okay, as stupid as I may seem, I think I found a way. We just go all the way around. And down, and down, and down, and then there's a little... There we go. Hi, Koga. We'd like to fight you now with our nice shiny Kadabra. Well, not shiny, but you get the idea. So, I think I'm going to use Kadabra for everyone except Muck is the goal here. So... Let's go ahead and Psychic it away. Should be very easy kills. Yes, perfect. Here it is a one shot. Ideal. And a Muck. Okay, yes, we will switch to Elliot. I think Muck just has too good of stats and we want to dig our way through this one probably, so. We can just do that and avoid a shit ton of damage. Unless we miss all our attacks, which would be devastating, but I'm hopeful that we just continue to hit it. Ugh, god, no, stop doing that. Dig, dig, dig. Try and sludge me or something now, man. Yeah, there we go. Hit. Yep. Brilliant. Another level for Elliot. Yes, girl, we're almost to our fly gun, boys and girls. Yes, we will switch for fly, uh, 
copying and Kadabra can easily take that out. And I think you should probably be okay with the Weezing too. We're gonna try it. And my thought is if I lose Janitor on this gym, it was still worth it. I mean, getting through. Okay, let's do it. We haven't even had to use... If we don't one-shot it, I will use a stat boost of some kind. Oh, but we got it. There we go. Perfect. Look at that, ladies and gents. Koga down. Here we are. The soul badge. Brilliant. Surf outside of battle and poison, I'm assuming. Toxic. Okay, same thing. I might teach that to our Venusaur, but I do rather like his moveset. Honestly, I might look into it and see what the stats are on it and if it's worth it. But it's good to uh, good to think about. Um, I don't know if we need anything else here. Let me quickly pause. Okay, so we need to go talk to the warden and then go to the safari zone, but we're going to get our encounter here first. Okay, he's useless right now, but he wants us to have help him find his teeth is my recollection. Let's get our encounter for... Okay, come on, Doug. Um, this route, which... Um, I'm struggling to find the pond. Do I have to go through this guy's house back here? Yeah, it looks like there we go. So we're going to do that real quick and then hopefully end off the episode there. He gives us a better rod, but it doesn't really matter for this one. All right, key items. Old rod use. Come on, buddy. All right, we want something in here. Give me an item. Or a Pokemon, rather. Come on. We want to end the episode off with an encounter. There we go. Fuchsia. Alright, a Diglett. Cute. We will throw exactly one ball at it just to see if we get the... Uh, um, fucking A. The random item it could be holding, and uh, none of that. Oh, okay. I'll throw one more Pokeball at it, actually, just to get rid of the Pokeball, but yeah, and we're done. I just don't care at all about Diglett. Nope, okay. You're done. You're done, kid. Alright, unfortunate encounter there. Let's go into the Safari Zone in the last couple minutes here and see what we can get done. I don't really care about the good. Good rod. Haha, <laughs> funny as that is. And then we're gonna go up to. Nope, this isn't the safari zone, is it? Nope, none of these people are useful. I thought that was. Alright, get me through and in. So, the way the safari zone rules work, um, just as a reminder, is. Uh, we have to try and catch the very first Pokemon we encounter, or as many Pokemon as it takes they can flee. We just get the first one in here. Yes. Okay, perfect. We have... Sweet. So we run through the Safari Zone as quickly as possible. I think we just want to go up this way. We'll just take whatever encounter we get as we go throughout this route. Okay, here we go. What's our encounter for the Safari Zone? Ooh, a Poliwhirl. Um, let's go ahead and bait it. I don't know what that does. And then we can ball it, maybe? I do not know. No. He's watching carefully. Let's just throw a ball. <laughs> and, nope. Okay, well, it was a good attempt. Um, we'll continue on up and through. A leaf stone, not bad. Nope, oh, that was the wrong way. What a waste of... I think we only have steps is how we get through this. Yep, let me go up and over this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking swallow it. Alright, let's throw a ball and see what happens. 
Okay, what do we do? Do we bait it? And then can we throw a rock at it? It's angry. Oh, fuck. I don't know what that does. Oh, wow. That's going to be our fucking encounter. Wow. Okay. Um, not good. Uh, I'm not even going to nickname it. <laughs> Honestly, it's not worth it. Alright, guys. That's our episode. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.